Hey guys, I'm Rachel Cruz. I'm George Camel. And this is Smart, Smart Money, Money Happy, Happy Hour. Hour. This is the podcast where two friends who happen to be money experts talk about what you're talking about. So we got pop culture, we got celebrities, we got world news, we got everything. George. Something for everyone. And money. Unless you hate all of that stuff. And then this is not the podcast for you. But you should still listen and see if you like it. People do that, you know. Don't like shoo them off now, George. Oh, Just sorry. the intro. Stick around. We're going to have a good time. Okay, so today we are talking about the fascinating world of influencers, which is kind of like the modern world's dream job. If you talk to anyone Gen Z, they want to be YouTubers and influencers. It's like, it's like the... It's the career they wanted. In our day, George, that wasn't it was a like, career. I want to be on TV or like, right, you were you would aspire to these things. And now the aspiration is influencers Can for you, some. If you like if I was a child and I told my parents, like, what do you want to be when you grow up? And I was like, an influencer. I know, but that's what kids say these hey, days are YouTubers. Doesn't it's a know thing. What that is. I know, it's a thing. So we're gonna debate or discuss is it worth doing to make some quick cash? Especially if you're paying off debt, you need an emergency fund. Is this the way to go or not? Is it a smart way to make money or is it kind of a get-rich-quick scheme that involves your face? We'll see. We're going to figure it out. <laughs> well, we're, anyways, we're going to unpack it all. And in this episode, we're, gonna, we're sipping on something great today, George. It's a delicious cosmopolitan. Classic. For short, you can call it a Cosmo if you're on the inn. Uh, delicious classic beverage. So stick around till the end. You're going to get our drink rating, the recipe, and a full cost breakdown if you want to make one for yourself at home. That's right. Okay, so let's jump in to this and establish, first and foremost, for those of, you know, if you're a boomer listening, maybe a later millennial. You think boomers are listening? And you think, I would hope. That's sweet. You don't think so? Surely there are boomers out there Other listening. Other than Sharon Ramsey <laughs> and Dave. <laughs> I don't know. I assume, I mean, Maybe boomers are not. In their, they're in their 60s, right? Anyways, anyone that doesn't know what an influencer is, give like the official definition, Okay, here's George. like the dictionary definition. This is someone who influences, fun fact, potential buyers of a product or service by promoting the item on social media. So yeah. if you build an audience on social media, you have a following, and then you're promoting products, services, whatever it is, you are, by definition, an influencer. Yeah, and I would say one of the more popular channels would be Instagram. It feel like it took off there. TikTok, maybe. TikTok, too, for sure. Yeah. Uh, so it's everything from, like, the shampoo you're using to the clothes you're wearing, everything. And there's, I think it's more heavily weighted towards the females. I would so agree with that. So we think fashion, beauty, self-care, food. Do you follow influencers? My wife influencers? follows one, and she'll always, like, show me her stories. There's literally 78 stories a day. <laughs> like you click through, Danny Austin. I know you know Danny. <gasps> I do know her. Yes, she I mean, started, not personally, but she started the Stanley trend, or was one of the people that started oh, really? that. The Stanley tumbler yep. cups that are everywhere now. Hundred percent. And so she follows her. She loves her. I can't. It's not for me. So yeah. I don't follow many influencers because I don't follow many like female beauty fashion people. That's probably true. <laughs> you know, most of them are like, it's interior design, it's parenting, it's like mommy bloggers. Yes. Not my cup of tea. Yeah. I follow not- like nerdy financial influencers. Sports. Tons of sports. <laughs> I follow all the channels. Sports all Center. All the sports channels. NFL. I follow some. And I've picked out like the three that I'm like, okay, I actually will use the stuff. That, that they, they recommend. Yeah, because I'm like, they're so it's my a style. So there's a trust there. It's, you trust them because of their taste. I, exactly. Now there's one girl I follow who's like uber bougie, Salt Lake City. Like she, she's, she's. Drop the handle. Yes. Yeah, uh, okay, well, Rachel Parcell. And wow. I, she's got millions. I'm sure some people follow her. Uh, but she's uber, she's more bougie though. She's like my bougie one that I'm like, I will never probably buy something that she What is she that, promoting? Like oh, Chanel it's like, it's purses? Labels. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's pretty much like, wow. she, she's she's up there. But then okay. I have my three in my range. The Amazon, the Loft, the uh, Target. Like that's my, that's my range. So I found three. Well, I feel like there's a lot of influencers that do the dupes. Have you seen this? Yeah, for sure. Where they're like, hey, instead of buying the Lululemon joggers, you can get them on this Amazon, use my link, and they're 20 bucks. And they're 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 great. And they're great. I know. So they help. They do. But I have unfollowed people though. What caused you to unfollow an influencer? Uh, If I was in a season of buying too much, I'm like, you know what? I don't need it. So it was an ish you, not an ish them. It was an ish me, yes, it was. I've muted one or two to go back to unmute. I've done that too. So you just put it on pause, like yeah. a subscription. <laughs> yes. You're like, I can't handle this. Be- not because I don't like you, but because I'm tempted to spend. Yes, You're for a good sure. person. For I sure. don't follow people because I'm like, I don't like you anymore. Or you, <laughs> I know. 
<laughs> you post too much. There were some that I follow that I was like, yeah, I can do it without you in my life. That's probably fair. Yeah. I just feel mean saying that. Well, I would never unfollow you. I want you to know Thanks, that. Thanks, George. I've muted you once, and <gasps> I'm, unmu- I'm just kidding. I'm totally kidding. <laughs> that hurts. Never have I ever, George. Even the thought of you doing that hurt my feelings. I know. <laughs> it's fine. Okay, so the deal is, though, that there are different levels to show how obvious influencers choose to be when they're selling things. So for some people, it's like, it's just out there, and it's like, here's my discount code. Use it and check out, because you're going to get a great deal. And that's kind of a a partnership with some kind of website. Yes, brand. and now they have to, they actually have to say ad or partnership in That's it. right. Didn't Kim Kardashian get in trouble yeah, for that? Yeah, she got like majorly fined because she didn't, yeah. It wasn't clear enough on some crypto thing that yes. it was an ad. That's right. That's right. So Ooh, I'm glad they're regulating that stuff because it's confusing. Yeah, it is. You're like, do you actually care about this or did someone just write you a big check to say that you care? I know. To but I think it? I would start to care if they wrote me a big check though. Would you? Well, you all the celebrities that are promoting, you know, crypto and credit cards and you yes. see them in the commercials, like, they don't actually care about Capital One and the rewards. They have money. They don't <laughs> that's need right, this. That's right, totally. So Jennifer Garner, we're coming for you. We are coming for I you. I can't stand those commercials. But then there's the people that, you know, quote unquote, are influencers, but there's it's not that obvious. So you kind of just like follow their life. And because you fall in love with them, you automatically want what they're doing. Because yes. you're like, ooh, that looks fun. Or I like that. Well, I like when they're not too ShamWow, not too pushy, not too salesy. Sorry, what? You know, ShamWow. Nope, never heard of it. Y'all, I feel like we need to play the Stay ad at for home ShamWow. Mom. Stay at home no, mom. it's the old school infomercial with the guy who looks like he's on drugs. And he's like, but wait, there's more. Oh, yes. And he's got the ShamWow and it cleans up everything. It'll clean up like, <laughs> like there could be an oil spill in the ocean. And I'll be like, ShamWow. ShamWow. It'll soak it all up. OxyClean is the same thing, right? OxyClean. Those are the influencers of the boomer age. Yes. Oh, oh, man. Sad story about the OxyClean guy. It did not end well for him. Oh, he died. All of those guys were like on drugs and not doing well, Rachel. Stop it. Yeah. That's a story I for another day. I choose not to believe. But I you choose know not what? to believe that. There's I don't a think connection that's true. because influencers, it takes a toll on them mentally. It's a lot to have your life out there, which we'll get into later. Yeah, we will because it's a different world. Yeah, you're living a different life. Different times. So there are ways that these people make money. And they actually make, can make a lot of money, George. Like it does become a true. I know we kind of isn't that part of the allure? Fun is like it? you get all the validation from you know being in the spotlight and a crap ton of money to go along with it. I know. I mean, but, but companies are paying it. That's what's wild. Is they used to you know celebrities and all of that, but it's like no, no, no. Just your everyday stay at home mom over here who has five hundred thousand followers on Instagram. She can make a lot. It's well, think wild. about it. Like TV ads no longer connect as well. Like I don't remember the last time I bought something because of That's a TV so ad. Yeah. Now we're glued to social media. And so you're watching that person's story and they send you a link to that Amazon like, That's joggers. Cute. Those are cute. It. I'll get them. How many times have you swiped up and actually bought something? <sighs> you can be honest. I mean, I, I, I can't give a number, but I... It's where I find a lot of my clothes, George. I mean, I'm being serious. These wow. three girls I follow because I love everything they're wearing. And not that I buy everything that they put out, but I'm like, yeah. If well, I'm half like, the I YouTube need... comments on these videos is like, Rachel, where'd you get the top? I'm like, it's always, Rachel, where'd you get the top? And never, <laughs> George, 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 where'd you where get your top? where did you get your top? No one cares. The blue button up. It's a very nice corduroy. Thank you. Thank you for noticing. The detail, I like the de- that's an influencer, like lingo. The detail. I see the detail oh here gosh. of the stitching on the shoulders. The ruffle Listen, detail. I don't care enough. I just, Where'd you get your shirt? This is uh, Bonobos. I'm sorry, what? Bonobos. Never is heard the of name it. of the company, or Bonobos, if you will. Just a men's clothing company. That's all. Is that I think popular? Walmart. Is that a, oh, everyone yes, people it know? Is, it is. Oh, popular. wow. Okay. Sure. Other people know. They're like an this. upper tier. I think Walmart bought them, but they're like an upper tier, you know, men's brand. Uh, online? Online. There's a, there's a location From an here influencer? in Nashville. No, I have not seen an influencer push it. Okay. Maybe you're maybe you're the OG. I'm destined. Hey, Bonobos, if you're listening, I'd love to work with you. So let's talk about how these influencers actually make their money. Because they're all wondering, like, okay, is it just from swipe ups and links? Mm-hmm. Well, one of the big ways is through affiliate links or discount codes. And so when you think affiliate link, it means if you click this link and then make a purchase, that influencer gets a kickback. They get a portion yep. of that purchase. Can I tell you my 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 like hardship? With this, you have a hardship. A with little this? bit. A Rachel. little bit. Are you ready? Oh my goodness! Because one person I follow, I'll throw it out there. Loverly Gray is who I, I don't know her actual name, but I love all the stuff. So she will link to Target. But here's the deal: I click the I click the link, yep. and it goes to Target.com. Oh. Well, all my stuff with Target, my Target red card, debit card, is in my app. 
So you know what I do? I copy and paste the thing, and then I go to my Target app and paste it in the search oh, thing. so she's not getting She's not back. getting it. I feel like I should send her something. I don't think, I think she's doing okay. <laughs> But I do feel like she, and I know when I'm doing it, I'm like, I'm doing it out of my convenience. She just I got free publicity quick. on one of the biggest podcasts of all time, Smart Money Happy Hour. So The biggest <laughs> podcast, number one in all categories, according so, to some people. But this is a huge way they make their money is a portion of these sales. Yep. But there's also a ton of other ways. And one of those is through collaborations and brand partnerships. This is where you can start making some crazy money. Yeah, so people have like swimsuit lines. They'll do their own sunglasses. So they'll partner with a company and do their own quote unquote version of the product. Whew. Now that's nice. Now we this need, is where you become almost like a spokesperson. We need to get on that, George. Brand ambassador. Yes. Need, our own sunglass line. Wouldn't that be great? I could, we could do sunglasses. So, so we, collabs we've got is one. Affiliate links. We've got the discount codes, the collabs, and brand partnerships. Okay. But we're not done. Uh, no, and this is another one we could get on. I feel like we. This is like a business episode for us. Merch. Merch. So a lot of these influencers, they have like their sayings or the stuff because you get to know them. You get to know Would them. Would you have some cool sayings? Uh, take, create, create a life you love. Yeah, take control of your money, create a life you love. This Dave's is got tons smart of smart money fun happy sayings, hour. Which we finally launched some Ramsey merch, which is actually fantastic. Yes. Merch is a fun way to kind of pique someone's interest and go, hey, what's what's that about? For sure. What's that whole dead is dumb cash? Mallory is Irvin, thing? she's another one I follow. I actually know her personally in Nashville. So that's my one influencer I can. I'm going to name drop. Name drop. I did, I did. But genuinely know her and like her. But she has the best sweat. So she like created these big sweatshirts and it, they sell out so fast. It's crazy. Wow. So anyways, I got one. Fascinating. So yeah, merch. I mean, this can be bumper stickers. This can be hats. I yep. once did a bunch of merch when I was in my music age and I was a musician <laughs> and I got buttons made. I had air fresheners made. Stop it. Custom air fresheners. That I still have to this day. If anyone wants them, I guess we can <laughs> we can give them out to the viewers. I have like a hundred left that I don't know what to do with. I did T-shirts. I did everything. Wow, stickers. George. Let me tell you, biggest waste. It of had money a of lion on it, right? It had the lion. I remember. You remember? I do remember George so, from back in the day. Yeah, my merch didn't quite pan out, but it's okay. But it's it's lucrative. Uh, next is paid posts. So this is big. So they get compensated to post about you know, a company, a product, Which whatever was the, it is. That was like the Kardashian thing, was she got paid to prom promote crypto yes. in so, a post. Yes, so you ready right for this? Influencers can be paid anywhere from $10 to $1.2 million. What am I doing here with yes. you? I don't know. What am I doing I've with my I've been wondering the same thing. Are you kidding me? I don't know why you're here. You chose to be here. <laughs> So this is... You may not see me on any future episodes well, of Smart Money. It's Hunger. a wide range because there's a wide range of levels of influence. Yeah, there is. Yeah. So let's co let's cover, if you're like, well, what? how many followers do I need to make some money? So you have the nano influencer that's less than 10,000 followers. You have the micro influencer, which is anywhere from 10,000 to 50,000. And in this tier... Wow, they said on average they earn almost three thousand dollars for a That's post. That's not bad. Yeah, then you got your mid tier, which is fifty thousand to five hundred thousand. You All got right. your macro, which is five hundred to a million, and then mega, which is a million or more. Wow. So that's serious. So stuff. so Kylie Jenner, she's considered obviously a, a mega, and she makes more than a million dollars per post. Wow. That's crazy to me. That hurts my brain. Because like, truthfully, the level of effort it takes to make a post. I not mean, a that time. is insane. For the ROI, for what you're paid. Yeah, like, and I'm most like- Most people are like, I wouldn't see that in a lifetime. And this person just did post it on social media. And, does it make me sound like a communist or something? But like, and for someone that doesn't need it. Do you know what I'm saying? I'm Truth. like, man, I always think about that too. Free stuff, you get free stuff and all this. And you're like, the people that get all that, they don't- They can afford they to They can afford it. to pay for it, so- Anyways. Wow. Am I a Democrat? I don't know. I think I am. <laughs> okay, so some of those are pretty like likely type people, right? Like we're talking about the the women that are doing all the influencing or yeah, where Kylie are the Jenner, men at? all of that. Where are the guys? Okay, but there are some unlikely influencers. And these might be my favorite. Okay. You ready? Hit me. I'm gonna go with my favorite on here. Brunch with Babs. Love Babs. Have you seen Babs? Big fan of Babs. I mean For those that don't know, she's probably what explain Babs. Seventy? I mean, grandma vibes for sure, but very spunky, yeah. very high energy. Oh, and she's like from, she's definitely Northeast, right? I think, yeah, definitely. Hey, got it's the Babs. Vibe. Maybe a Connecticut vibe. Hey, yes, very, yes, yes. But she gives you all these hacks on life. It's like the grandmother that we all wish we had in the yes. sense that is giving us all this very useful, 
Very useful Very tactical. Yep. And she does it with just the best spunk and personality. You know what Babs taught me? What'd she teach you? Uh, well, via Lindsay, our producer. Yeah, champagne bottle. If it goes flat, drop a raisin in, and there's a chemical reaction, and whoop, you get your bubbles back. Wow. That's from Babs. That's shocking. That is helpful. Babs helped me problem. with my washer. Then I got to go buy raisins. I don't just own... <laughs> No True. one just owns raisins. True. All right, no one under 50 just has ownership of raisins. <laughs> I've never thought about that. Y'all have, who has raisins in a cabinet in this room? Yeah. <laughs> now, craisins maybe, and that's if you're making a very specific salad. No one's just <laughs> munching on craisins for fun in 2023. But I mean, like, you probably pay like a dollar for a pack of raisins, right? Yeah, you go so get like, a mini, one of those little mini yeah. boxes they used to Babs have. Babs needs to get a Sunkist sponsorship or whatever it is. What's that brand? Yeah. Is that it? It's not Sunkist, is it? That's a drink. That's the drink. Sunmade. 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 Someone look it up. Sunmade raisins. Sunmade. Sunkist is the bartender. Soda. Well done. Well done. Sunmade raisins. Yep. Babs, if you're listening. Which, she's fabulous. So, she so be great she's on the kind show. of a, a different, you know, yep. type of influencer. And there's another guy I love on YouTube, and it's a dad who just started making these videos, and he's got a channel called Dad How Do I? And he just yes. gives dad advice. Like, here's how to tie a tie. Yes. Here's how to shave. Here's what's very to do. helpful, and he's just oh, the sweetest guy. He's got over four million subscribers on YouTube. It's pretty amazing. Yeah. Pretty amazing. Okay, so what do you think? Do you think this is a good side hustle? Because people are trying to pay off debt. I'm sorry. It's just funny to me that this is like, I want to make some extra money. This is something that you need to put a lot of time and love into. And so if you're looking for quick cash, this ain't it. Yeah. That's my take. I know. There's some pros to it. So you get to travel sometimes. Sometimes, Yeah, sometimes like if you get enough following, free clothes and products. There's a lot of travel influencers where like a resort would say, hey, we want to pay for you to come out and stay at our resort and do a review. I mean, that's not a bad life, right? Absolutely. You can make a high income. If you if you do it consistently, like if you if it's not just a side hustle, you actually like make it your life. People make great money doing it. Keyword, make it your life. I know. You can work from anywhere. You, you know, have some fun connections, getting cool events. So there's some pros, but there's also some cons, George. Absolutely. Number Mm. one, you don't really get privacy. Like your personal life is now the public Mm -hmm. life because part of being an influencer is the authenticity and vulnerability. And you get to see my actual life and my home and when I wake up and when I go to bed. And so that can take a toll on your mental health when your whole life has to be in the spotlight. For sure. And a lot of influencers struggle with this. And we've seen really sad stories of people who exploded on YouTube or were child stars. And then yep. later in life, it doesn't pan out for them. Or there's, you know, suicides and just terrible things that happen. <laughs> I'm sorry to go dark, but it really, especially in the YouTube space. Yes. Yeah, so I don't know that world as much. I'm more on like the Instagram side of it. And... It, I have thought about it though for them because I'm like, man, that does, that's a lot. Well, the fame, you have the to power, think the about, money, it can go to your head. Yeah, it can, but I, I just think about that there has to be a level of absolute exhaustion. I can't imagine having to feel the need to film everything. And again, some people, maybe they thrive in it and they're great with it. And they, especially if their spouse is on board and they're kind of doing it to, like, it, I, it's not, How do we it's get, not a right or wrong thing. It's not a moral thing to me. Yeah. Because I think you can do it well. But personally, it would... Yeah, it would be a lot. That would be a lot. It's a big life choice to make, to say my life is now on full display and I'm leaning into this. Yeah. So to earn money, something that people out there, because we we give options a lot on like different side hustles, ways to make extra income. And would this be a, this would be a hard one because I feel like you kind of have to build it up. Yeah, I would never personally recommend if you're like, hey, I'm looking for some side hustles. I'm like, become an influencer. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> just no, just go work at a retail store or hospitality or serve or deliver groceries. Like if you want quick money yeah, to yeah. pay off debt or hit a money goal, that's the way to do it. Now, long term, if you're willing to invest the time and energy, which is what it takes, you can't just post like once a week and just expect to gain a huge following and have people connect. You have to be in their daily right. life, yep. top of mind, which on social media is so difficult these days. Even for us to try to stay at the top of people's feed, I mean, it's a feat unto itself. I can't itself. keep up with it. Yep, totally, 100%. So not the greatest side hustle, but I'm not anti-influencer at all. And the other thing you have to think about is all the cyberbullying. You've got to have thick skin to be oh. out there on the internet and ready for all, with all the love comes all of the hate and ridicule and people on the internet have digital courage. And with them, 
it's like personal. Like for us, it could be like, I don't like that you say to not use credit cards or I don't like that you yeah. say combined. And they're kind of, a, for the most part, we get personal attacks, but for the most part, they're attacking the advice we're giving, which helps me. Versus like, you as a person. Okay, so a lot, their fault. A lot of cons, including, oh, again, this takes a lot of time. So you're spending your life consumed by social media, which steals time from the real world and your real relationships in your life. And that can take a toll on the people that love you. That's right. Absolutely. So I wouldn't quit your day job to be an influencer. And you'll know when the time is right, which can, we, can you just talk about when the time is right? If you're like, hey, I work a full-time job. I've started to build this thing on the side. When do I know the time is right to make that leap? To do yeah, I'd say with the income you're bringing in, if it's matching your current or you can live off of it, and that's what you want to do, then, then jump. But I wouldn't like abandon... Abandon ship too early. Yeah, not too well, early. Well, the other piece of this is if you follow the Ramsey principles we talk about of getting completely debt-free, having a fully funded emergency fund, investing for the future, then it makes it easier to make that leap to that yes. thing that you're so passionate about over here. That's right. So that's once right. you go, hey, if I did this full-time, I could replace my income. Yep. Well, that's the time to do it. That's, that's a great that's place to be. That's what you want to do. I know. Okay, so if you out there, you're thinking, okay, yes, that's all great, but I have zero interest in pursuing a career as an influencer. So what does this mean for me? So I think the biggest thing as consumers of it, if we're not going to be influencers, to make sure that it doesn't affect your spending. Uh, which has, has, which has it's affected yours, right? It has. Sure. For me, George, sometimes if I'm like, oh, I like want to spend and they're like sending me products or outfits and I'm like, that's cute. I'll just add to cart, but I won't buy. Oh. And then I leave, live my life. And then when I come back, I'm usually like, yeah, I don't need another gray sweatshirt. So, I'm so not you're getting the like, let's put a pin in that. Yeah, you add to cart because it kind of feels good. Like, ooh. You get maybe the dopamine some- hit without kind of the budget hit. Isn't that funny? But it's true. That's what I do. D- discontentment is another oh. one. Because you can start to be like, wow, my life is not like that. Which is a terrible time to get on social media when you're feeling discontent with your own yeah, life. And then you go and people are just posting the highlights of their life and where they went on vacation and the fancy thing they bought. And it, do you feel like this? It's like the thing that you're feeling worse about in life feels like everyone else, everything is great about that part. Like if parenting's a hard season, I'm like, I'll, I swear, I'll scroll. And it's like every child is like <laughs> <laughs> laughing wow. at every picture. I'm like, my child's insane. Like, how is how is their the child so happening? It, that's a new Rachel conspiracy. Or if, like, or if like, you know, if it's a hard season of marriage and you're scrolling, you're like, oh my gosh, everyone just seems happy. Or it's like, I'm discontent with this thing. And you scroll and you're like, oh my gosh, everyone's so happy with that area. Do you find that? Maybe it's a subconscious that. thing, but I'm like, that's what well, it feels you, like Well, you kind me. of find whatever you're looking for and the algorithm somehow also knows. I swear they know my mind. They know what's they on know. your heart. They know my discontentment. And wow. they feed me other stuff. And I think I'm the only one in the world. Uh, so don't spend more money than you have trying to make your life look like someone else's. Yes. It's just not worth it. Uh, and by the way, they got paid to post all that and you didn't. And so there's just a big <laughs> disparity there of their life versus yours. And you have a whole book on this called Love Your Life, Not Theirs I that I recommend everyone read if this is something they struggle with. Next, use social media as a tool. That's all it is. It's not necessarily good or bad. It's a great way to put wise people um, you know, there's a great authorities, authors, pastors, experts. Our Ramsey personalities are putting great content out there to help people win with money. Um, and that's a great way to use social media as a tool. But if you're using it as a way to cope, you're using it as retail therapy, it's a terrible use. For sure, yep. There are some so many great accounts out there and some influencer accounts that are great, right? Yeah. Like We're not like, don't get on social media. It's no. bad for you. Yeah, like, no. I'm not in that camp. No, because it can be used to be like, yeah, this is like giving me life. This I is, learned this so is much from social media. Yeah. It's, it's super great. helpful. Limiting your social media time, being very aware of what you're seeing. And by the way, you can unfollow. You have the power to do that. If something yes. is stealing your joy or stealing mental calories or living rent-free in your head, it's time to hit the unfollow button. Yep, do it. Because it'll save you your mental state and your money. Let's That's be right. honest. In Let's your be joy. Honest. In your joy. Ooh, we got real, Rachel. That was good, George. I needed this. I needed this episode for yeah, me. Yeah, we needed some depth. You know, all these episodes have been very just pure vanity from Rachel. This, this influencer episode really You thought really it was going to be deep. pure vanity on the influencer episode, but we went deep for the good of the people. Oh, my god. And again, we're not mad at influencers. That's great. No, no. But you just got to watch yourself. Be careful about what you're influenced by and why. Should we, just, should we just like close it out with that, George? No, we have more to go. Okay. So before we wrap though, for real, uh, we've got a challenge. 
So there are a ton of words and phrases that have these like meanings. Oh, yeah. Um, the lingo. The lingo. There's a vernacular yep. out there. So I think we're going to go through what oh, words that would have been different 15 years ago are different today in 2023. It is crazy how everything just became normal. And then you're like, 10 years ago, I would have no clue what just this Just list meant. them out. I'm going to just sip on my Cosmo and just take in because okay. this is... Everyday words that now have new meaning yep. thanks to influencer Brand new culture. Yep. Stories. Yeah. Post. Engagement. Profile. Reels. Linked. Views. Viral. Canceled. Swipe up. Caption. Tag. Boomerang. Location. Trending. Feed. Collab. Mutuals. Unboxing. And at me. With the <laughs> at symbol. <laughs> Oh my gosh! Like, don't did you ever me. see the? Did you see the clip going around Instagram about when the internet first came out and Katie Couric and Matt Lauer, and they were talking through what it was because yes. they had to say the website and they didn't know it was such a ridiculous did thing you see to that say clip? out loud. It yes. was so good. We should try to find that and put it in the show notes because it was so. Don't sue funny. us, NBC. But they were like, "Yeah, they're supposed to put." Um, uh, Tell us at abc or nbc.com, but what's that symbol? What's that? What's that A? Is what it is that little? What it's is an that? A. Oh yeah, what? they were so confused, and it was really funny. I was like, man, the wow. world was a simpler time then. Oh, the simpler back. times when that when you would put the AOL trial disc in to log onto the web, and oh. you have to go through that. Like, and then, and then this was the best, the. Mm. And you're like, who just got on on AIM? Do you remember who that? Who just signed on to and AIM? Then the, the door closed, and you're like, oh no. Because it's always like the cru- like your crush, you know, you're like looking for a screen name and you're like, did he just leave and not say bye? And then like, you had an away message that was like an emo song oh. lyric. <laughs> oh, I miss those days. Which, <laughs> do you remember like the little acronyms we used to use for those? What was your screen name? Mine was Ardo711. Can I explain why? Yeah, please go. This is good. My favorite, I was a big skateboarder. I was a skater boy. And my favorite professional skateboarder was a, a skateboarder from Finland named Ardo Sari, A-R-T-O. So I went with Ardo and then 7-Eleven because I had an obsession with 7-Eleven convenience stores. And then I realized my initials are the <gasps> 7th and 11th letters of the alphabet. And my Brilliant. tiny little mind was blown. <laughs> wow. Brilliant. Ardo 7-Eleven. What was yours? I had friends at lunch that we came up with, the screen name that took me through I don't know when did a when did AIM stop? I had it in t- throughout part of high school for sure. Yeah, probably till like sophomore year. Are you ready for this one? <clears throat> oh no! Oh no! <laughs> I can't do it. The pause makes me even more nervous. <laughs> um, I mean, it's not that great. <laughs> so. It can't be worse than mine. Lil. Oh no! <laughs> We're already <laughs> off to a rocky start. Like L I L. Yep. Okay. Bit of heaven. <laughs> <laughs> I love that you're friends and you thought this was a hit. <laughs> oh, we thought it was so good. Three uh, though. Three L. <laughs> Lil bit of heaven. Oh, that's three amazing. eight zero. Where did the three eight zero come from? You just chose heaven. numbers. I don't know. Oh yeah. And that stayed with me for years. What was yours? yours? No, like mine's like so embarrassing. I, it, it makes little me bit look of like a legit idiot. Mine was dumb blonde with only one B. <laughs> Can you get worse? Like I was just telling you the world, dumb I'm blonde. dumb. <laughs> Lizzie, you wow. were thinking, but I thought it was cute. Why couldn't oh. I say cute blonde? Why couldn't I say something endearing instead? I'm just like dumb because blonde, dumb blonde three seven like, seven three. Because dumb blonde valley girl, like that was a that was. I a, don't want to be that, Rachel. No, I, know I don't you know what don't, I was thinking. But that was like a tr- that was like a thing. It was a trend to be dumb. Like, Clueless uh, came out. Like, yeah, that was a thing. Well, there was, was a lot funny. of Anyways. acronyms, Rachel. I want to <laughs> throw some out there. What were some of the ones that you used? Like, do you ever use like G two G? Are you talking about on AOL? Yeah, like oh, got to go. I need to clarify that. G to G. Uh, L O and for L O L for a hot second, I swear it was lots of love, and then oh, it switched to laugh out loud. Oh, like the OGs of L O L. It was like you would say it when you were leaving. Yeah, um, B B S. Be back soon. Or B R B. Oh, it was B R B. Yeah, B R B. T T Y S. Or Y S. Like talk to you soon. Oh my gosh! And when someone would get off, do you remember it was like by T T Y L? You had to like. I would write B R B in the bathroom. I wanted everyone to know that. I know. Getting a snack. I did the same thing. Oh, right. George, okay. I don't know if we changed lives on this episode, but I think it's important to point out how 
it's a part of our world, though. Influencers. I was are. really curious how you were going to make that feel like it had any weight to it. Like I think there were some lessons learned here. Uh, number one, <laughs> being an influencer is not a great like immediate side hustle. That's yeah, a lesson that's a good. Um, and oh my gosh, you can make so much money being, being an influencer. An influencer. <laughs> those are so the two. I think and. those are great. I think those are great. And don't let them steal your joy if you're that's the right. consumer. I think that feels like a great wrap-up. Just be aware of what you're being influenced by. That's right. And turn off the screens if you need to, you know, like I feel like I'm just I'm, I'm just on the fritz half the time. And especially all of you in Baby Steps 1 through 3, if you're getting out of debt or an emergency fund, just, it's not worth it. For two years of your life, I love that. unplug because it's going gonna, it's gonna to tempt you. And then again, when you have the margin. Most of and your the, spending happens from your phone. So if you yes. just don't use your phone as much, you will spend less. There's you know a what I do hack. at night, George? What do you Instead do? Instead of pick up my phone, I pick up a book. That's right. Rachel's reading list. All right. So I think it's time for our last segment, George. Guilty as charged. And this is where our producer, Lindsay, gives us a new guilty as charged question every week. Lindsay? Make it a good one, Lindsay. Don't disappoint us. Okay. The pressure's on. Okay. So Dakota from Instagram asked, have you ever bought something as seen on TV? Do you remember those? Oh, mm-hmm. we're going like we're, yes. we're we're talking about nostalgia this episode, so why not throw it back? Yeah, I one thousand percent did. Yeah, I don't think it was like I didn't call into the number on the screen. I did. No, but you could buy them at places. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you I, did. I was in middle. I think I was in middle school, y'all, and I think you had to send a check because I had to go ask mom and dad. Oh my god! Are you ready for this? I don't think you're ready. Did you like, use bought. your home phone and call the number on the screen? Yes. Like yes. <laughs> I'm so nervous right now. Please. Oh no! Was it a snuggie? The silent laugh no. twice. It was a CD. A CD. You bought a CD that was as seen on TV. Oh no! Is it like elevator music? Were you 70 years old at? 13? Like, how did this even happen? <laughs> like, piano? Who's, like, finding the latest tunes? <laughs> it was the ultimate love song collection. <laughs> the, the ultimate... Wait, that one that scrolled at, like, 11 o'clock at night, and it's like, if you love this song, you're gonna love... <laughs> it had two CDs in it. <gasps> and I listened to it all. Oh, no. <laughs> I did. My parents now stopped doing it. I'm like, how old I'm were you? This. I was like in middle school. I'm dying. Ultimate love like, song. I mean, it was like, yeah. That was good. Oh my goodness. Who was included in that? I, was I like, really, I, I mean, I really wish I could find it. I'm trying to think um, of what year that would have been. That would have been like 19. Do any of these look familiar? Oh my gosh. Yes. <laughs> yes. Which one? Which one is it? Oh my gosh. Oh my how God. much did you pay it's for this? This one. Okay. Okay, the editor, we need to put this on screen. Oh my word, I'm dying. Okay, I, it is currently on eBay for $10.79 plus $5.50 shipping. I bought that, it has two CDs in Can it. Can I tell you what songs were on there, Rachel? It's from Time Life, which was where everything was from back when nothing mattered. What's Time Life? Um, when a Man Loves a Woman was the title of the collection. It had You're the Inspiration, Have I Told You Lately, I Want to Know What Love Is, You Are So Beautiful, Unforgettable, Giving you the best that I got. <laughs> Here and now, stuck on you. Oh, Lady, man. could I have this dance? You light up my oh. life. One in a million you. I swear. That was a good one. I swear. And Boys to Men. I swear. Oh, my gosh. Yep, wow. yep, I bought that. And it, yep. And I had a, and I had, are you ready for or this, y'all? This is, this is throwback. Wow. I had to send a check-in. Because they didn't have debit. We didn't, I don't think we had debit card. Like, there wasn't cards. This reminds me of the gold coins. And you where send it's like, your, to the P.O. box. You uh-huh. send the check. Oh, my goodness. And then you get the shipment, like, two weeks later. Yeah. Anyways, did you buy anything like that? Yeah, I mean, yes, but I would like see it at the store. Like if oh, it was that at, like count. I would be a bed yeah. bath well, they, and beyond. Yeah, they have the little thing that says there was entire sections for yeah. the as seen on TV, and I would mm-hmm. fall for it because like, well, if it's as seen on TV, it's got to be pretty good. If they're willing to put money behind this thing to put it on TV. But was it worth it? Like, do you remember one of the things? I you mean, uh, I feel like I'm trying to think. Definitely a lot of like kitchenware. Yeah, I was gonna say choppers are usually good. Like things, like things you put in the microwave, choppers, a lot of kitchenware. What a roller coaster we've been on this episode. Rachel so, cry. I don't think I've ever seen you cry. Know, and the fact that it was I over did. the ultimate love song collection, it just really is fitting for this podcast. If you're hoping for depth and life change, this is the podcast for you. 
So don't forget to DM us <laughs> with any of your don't forget. fun guilty as charged questions as we may use one yeah. on an upcoming Shout episode. Shout out to Dakota for sending yeah. that one in. Yeah, so make sure to tag us uh, at Rachel Cruz or at George Campbell with a K. That's and right. And we will use on a future episode. We will and we might. So let's get back to the drink, which I'm uh, I'm done with. I might finish it too. I might need it. Uh, Very good. It was great. The Cosmo is a classic beverage when done right. It is perfect. So in this drink, there is vodka, there is Cointreau, which is like a triple sec orange liqueur. Citrus liqueur. A citrus liqueur, says our mixologist. Fresh limes and cranberry juice. Comes out to $2.88 a glass, which is very economical. I think it's great. I give it a 10 out of 10. Wow. Yeah, I'm going to go 9 out of 10. Okay. I think, I I mean, it was delicious. It was borderline perfect. I like a little bit of complexity, uh, but I love, it's got a very tart, sour fruit vibe to it yep. that is that is just perfect. I like a little zip and zing, and so I like a little, maybe a little carbonation in there would have really added you, some punch. I'm pretty sure that's what the quote of like this show is. Zip like, and zing. It could have just had, I like a little carbonation. It could have just been a little bit better. Just I like a little bit better. <laughs> that's probably what I'm saying about this episode. Well, mm-hmm. don't ask for my rating if you're going to be mad at me for it, Rachel. <laughs> There we go. So if you want to make this at home, which I recommend you do, you can check out the recipe in the show notes and let us know on social if you tried it. That's right. And feel free to send us your favorite cocktail or mocktail uh, for a future episode too. So make sure to DM us. We love hearing your thoughts. And we like seeing when you make them. We That's fun too because we'll tag us. And make sure to share this episode with a friend who has been intrigued by influencer culture or has always wanted to see, uh, see Rachel Cruz cry. (laughs) <laughs> so either way, something for everyone in this episode. Yeah, so click the subscribe button, you guys, if you want to follow more episodes of Smart Money Happy Hour. And please leave a review. It helps us a lot. And leave the good ones because the bad ones don't really help other people go like, yeah, I want to listen to this. <laughs> All right, George. I guess we'll see everyone next Thursday on Smart, Smart Money, Money Happy, Happy Hour. Hour. 